Aladdin Creations. Hello guys, welcome to another video from Aladdin Creations. My name is Kavindu. I expect to share knowledge about medically important bacteria in this video series. We will discuss one bacteria at a time. Okay, let's start our first topic of the video series. It is gram-positive bacteria, Staphylococcus epidermidis. Staphylococcus epidermidis is a gram-positive, coagulase-negative, facultative anaerobic bacteria found in human normal flora. It is a normal skin commensal and less commonly found in mucosal flora. Other names used for this organism are Micrococcus epidermidis, Albococcus epidermidis and Staphylococcus epidermidis albus. As epidermidis infections are almost always nosocomial infections. This organism is transmitted by self-inoculation, by contact with infected patients and hospital personnel. Though this bacterium is a part of normal human flora, it can cause bacteremia by entering to the bloodstream. Moreover, S. epidermidis is an opportunistic pathogen that causes infection in debilitated or compromised patients at the site of implants. It commonly infects prosthetic heart valves, intravenous catheters. It causes endocarditis in patients with prosthetic valves, intravenous catheter infections, cerebrospinal fluid shunt infections, catheter-associated peritonitis, and endocarditis. Furthermore, it causes neonatal sepsis, osteomyelitis, wound infections, vascular graft infections, and mediastinitis. Ability to produce polysaccharide glycocalyx namely slime, is an important virulence factor of the bacterium. It is helpful to adhere to prosthetic valves and other implant materials. Formation of a multilayered biofilm essential for the pathogenesis of device-related S. epidermidis infection. Laboratory Diagnosis – Colony Morphology Usually it is non-hemolytic and forms white color colonies on blood agar. The colonies are 1 to 2 mm in diameter. On chocolate agar, S. epidermidis shows white color colonies. S. epidermidis is catalase positive, coagulase negative organism, and does not ferment panitol. It tolerates salts, survives strain, and high antibiotic resistance. Clinical significant two coagulase negative staphylococci are distinguished by sensitivity testing to antibiotic novobiocene. 5 microgram disc. S. epidermidis is sensitive for Nova Biasi. They does not have improved serological tests or any skin test developed for the diagnosis of any acute infection. Treatment S. epidermidis is highly antibiotic resistant. Most strains produce beta lactamase. However, most strains are sensitive to beta lactamase resistant drugs such as nafcillin. These strains are called methicillin sensitive Staphylococcus epidermidis MSSC. Some strains are methicillin or nafcillin resistant MRSC due to altered penicillin binding proteins. The drug of choice for this organism is vancomycin. A strain resistant to penicillin, penicillin is stable penicillins, gentamicin, erythromycin, and chloramphenicol are common. Vancomycin or tycoplanin should be used for systemic infections caused by this organism. For the treatment of infections related to the central nervous system or device-related infections associated with biofilms, it is occasionally used rifampicin in combination with the glycopeptide. New agents such as deptomycin and linosolid may have a role but clinical data is awaited to confirm their efficacy in this setting. Other important features People who are working in hospital setups are more likely to have antibiotic resistance to this organism. There is no vaccine against S. epidermidis. There is considerable interest in the development of antimicrobial impregnator devices such as central intravascular catheters, 
prosthetic heart valves, which will be helpful in the prevention of infections caused by these organisms. Moreover, use of materials that are less prone to adherence by S. epidermidis and subsequent biofilm formation will be helpful in the prevention of diseases. Well, friends, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and gain knowledge about Staphylococcus epidermidis bacteria. Now you can visit our website www.aladinflation.com and read articles related to its bacteria. And also, don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to update with many medical laboratory science and medical related videos like this. Thank you.